Design patterns, what are they and why are they useful? Let's talk about that in today's video. Okay, so welcome back. Let's start with a definition of design patterns. Now Wikipedia says that a software design pattern is a general reusable solution to a commonly recurring problem in software design. Importantly though, it's not a finished the designs. In other words, it's not ready to uh, begin coding with. Think of it more as a template on how to go about solving a specific problem. Now what is really cool though is this template or this design pattern can be used in many different situations. Now you could say that design patterns are best practices that uh, you can use to solve common problems when writing software and I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so why would you want to use a design pattern in your code? Well firstly, as I mentioned, they're a proven way to solve issues in software development. That's pretty important. But secondly, they can also help you picture the high level design of a particular solution in your head. Thirdly, a sound knowledge of design patterns uh, looks great on your resume and is highly sought after by employers. So basically learning design patterns looks really good on your resume. All right, so do design patterns work in all programming languages? Well, in general, a design pattern isn't tied to a specific programming language, but they're more useful in certain languages. You could argue that uh, design patterns work best in languages such as Java, C++, C Sharp, and other object-oriented languages, but uh, that's not to say you can't use them in other programming languages. All right, so should you be using design patterns? Well, based on what I said, why would you not want to be using them in your code? Because as I said, they're a proven solution to problems that typically occur and need to be solved in software development. All right, so what about uh, beginners? If you're new to programming, are design patterns suitable for you? So can you get stuck in and start using design patterns as a beginner? Well, in general, I'd say no, that's just my opinion. You really need to do some programming, some uh, tutorials and get the basics of a programming language under your belt to uh, get the most out of design patterns, to really understand what they're all about. But once you've got that basic knowledge of a specific programming language, by all means give them a whirl because uh, they'll actually certainly help you in uh, solving sort of typical problems that you need to solve as a software development. All right, now there's a link to a famous design patterns book by the four authors known as the Gang of Four. I've got a link to that in the uh, description of this video, so check that out uh, on Amazon. It's got great ratings and it's uh, the book that I basically started off learning uh, about design patterns. So check that out, but also I've actually got a Java design patterns course on Udemy, on Udemy and that's also highly rated and it's actually got 24 hours of video training. That course is specific to Java, but uh, it will teach you the concepts you need to uh, understand design patterns. All right, so as I said, the links to both the book and the video and the video course are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you've now got a basic understanding of design patterns. And if you've got any questions about design patterns, by all means, leave them as a comment on this video. All righty, so I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you're ready to look at the next tip, click on up here and you can check that out. If you're interested in coding specific programming videos, click on the link in the bottom left hand corner. Consider subscribing by clicking on the link up here and I'll see you soon.